what's up y'all welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog happy new month everyone so today is thursday september 1st it is currently 12 20 p.m in the afternoon and as y'all can see i'm in my mom's car i'm finally in new jersey yesterday i wanted to you know do the intro for the vlog but honestly your girl was not good with time yesterday and i was rushing out of the apartment to go to the airport to make sure that you know i made my flight because as i told y'all my flight was really early yesterday it was at six o'clock in the morning but yeah you know I reached New Jersey around like two o'clock, but then it took 10,000 years to get off the plane. So I really didn't get into my mom's car until like around three, cause then already like, it took a long time for me to get my bag for some odd reason. And I don't know why, but like New York airport has gotten really crazy recently. You know, Seattle airport is more chill than New York. Today I have a lot of stuff to do right now. I'm on my way to get my nails done. Today I'm going to a new nail shop because normally the nail tech that I go to out here, you know, you need to book her in advance. She only goes by appointment only and I wasn't able to get an appointment with her in time so I'm going to a new nail shop you know and it took it's so interesting because it took me a while to actually find a nail place that could actually do my nails like you know decently before I go back to you know Seattle my nails are chipped let me let me show you this hand like I don't even know what happened but yeah my nails are chipped and you know my cousin's wedding is tomorrow I'm only getting my hands done my feet are not bad at all so I'm only gonna get my hands done and then when I get back to Seattle that's when I'll get my hands and my feet done I'm excited because it's been a long time since I've really been behind the wheel for real for real and honestly I really really miss driving you know what I'm saying it's it's time for me to get a car it, it really is time for me to get a car but I have to wait until after law school in order to get a car you feel me um and then yeah after that i'm gonna come back home pick up my mom because we need to go to the mall today because y'all we don't have dresses for my cousin's wedding and it's literally tomorrow like and i told my mom i kept telling my mom over and over again mom get your dress so that way i can see what you're wearing and then i can you know figure something out sis did not do that she waited for me and now we're scrambling to figure out what we're gonna wear for tomorrow like this wedding is literally tomorrow my hair is not done but honestly i don't mind it like i will literally go to the wedding with a ponytail or something like it's it's fine but yeah y'all today we have a lot of stuff to do so yeah after the mall i might get my hair done if we still have time but we'll see because it's already bad enough that i have to drive 25 minutes to go get my nails done and then another 25 minutes to come back we don't really have like malls like near us so we also have to drive an extra 25 minutes to the damn mall but yeah let me let me get going you know i'm just i'm just sitting here chatting waiting for the you know the car to warm up you know what i'm saying it's it's hot out today but you know what we we finna you know do these errands so y'all my mom and i we're in the mall right now trying to find a dress for this wedding that's literally in the next couple of hours for real and we can't find nothing we might have to end up going to another mall the next day <laughs> Will you have this woman, Andre Apia Isando, standing here to be your wedded wife, to live together after God ordinances in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor, and keep her in sickness, in health, and in forsaking all other, keeping you only to her? As long as you both shall live, if it is so, say I will. I will. Then. <laughs> Daniel, will you have this man, Jefferson, Jefferson Jane, standing here now to be your wedded husband, to live together? After God's ordinances in the holy estate of matrimony, will you love, honor, and obey him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all order, keep only unto him as long as you both shall live? If it is so, say I will. Then I want to say, say it louder, please. Then I need...
Happy Sunday, y'all. So today is September 4th. It is currently almost 6 o'clock. It's 5.55 p.m. to be exact. And right now I am on my way to get food. So right now I'm going to Tops because I want cheesecake. And then I'm going to get my mom some, some wings. And then I'm going to go to Five Guys because I want a cheeseburger. Tops does have cheeseburgers, but that's not the cheeseburger that I want. I want a cheeseburger from Five Guys. Since I've been back in New Jersey, I've just been craving so many food foods like literally the past three days in a row i've had a dunkin donuts iced coffee i really really want a blizzard from dairy queen i mean we do have dairy queen in seattle but like it's far from me well it's not far per se but i would have to take an uber because taking a bus would take a whole you know taking a bus would take me a whole hour just to get there so i have to take an uber why should i take an uber when I could just, you know, wait till I come back to Jersey and have the car and drive myself. Now, I really, really want insomnia cookies, y'all, but the nearest insomnia cookies is Hoboken, practically New York. And so I'm really trying to convince my mom to let me make this drive to Hoboken because there's no insomnia cookies in Washington State. Like, there is one, but it's like really, really, really far. And after that one i don't think there's any other insomnia cookies in washington state and so i'm trying to get it when i'm you know out here you know because i'm leaving on friday so you know it's been what two days since the wedding my cousin's wedding the wedding was beautiful my cousin she looked beautiful she looked amazing you know it's always good to see the fam but honestly i really feel like i wasn't even able to enjoy the wedding for real because i was so tired y'all like it makes no sense like literally after i got back home from the wedding i took off my clothes right because i was going to take a shower and i ended up falling asleep like i literally did not wake up until the morning after and then you know went and took a shower like literally by the time i woke up it was nine o'clock in the morning the next day so saturday yesterday but everyone is so grown now it's, it's it's really weird i can't lie it, it really is a little bit weird like we're really grown now i picked up the food the wings smell so good y'all i'm definitely gonna have a wing once i get home but now i am on my way to five guys the five guys i'm going to is in harrison which is not far from tops because tops is in east newark now i'm out of one the car and be on my way see y'all i don't like driving in newark because this car just cut me off no manners and then taking their sweet time to turn too. I finally got my five guys and I decided to get a milkshake on impulse. But I'm not even mad at it because it's so good. Good morning y'all, happy Tuesday. Today is September 6th. It is currently 8.50 in the morning. And right now I am working. <laughs> Yo, she never wants to be in my videos y'all, but right now i'm working i have a lot of work to do because i haven't opened up my laptop since what last thursday because friday i was supposed to work but just a lot of stuff happened you know that was the day that my cousin was getting married and then and then yesterday was also labor day so i had the day off which was great like this morning when i woke up i was like uh i'm dreading having to open up my laptop because i just know i have so many emails that i have to get through unfortunately my outlook my inbox is so full all the time so every day i'm always having to delete emails in order to allow the new emails to come through like it's crazy how you work for a whole technology company and yet we only have two gigabytes worth of data when it comes to our emails which makes no sense but it is what it is today is going to be a pretty chill day for the most part, I really have not been doing anything since I've gotten home. Really, all I've been doing is eating, sleeping, and watching Netflix. So today, I have to do a little bit of work. Tomorrow, I am going to New York because I am going into the office uh, to meet the New York team, which I'm really excited about. Pretty much, I'm done with my work for today, but I do have a meeting at 7 o'clock in the evening. See, if I was on, you know, the West Coast, if I was back in Seattle, then the meeting would be at 4 o'clock. Also, y'all, it's raining in Jersey today. It's been raining since last night, and honestly, it looks like it might be 
a thunderstorm coming but who knows it's gonna rain literally the whole day so that means that after i get my iced coffee make my food i'm going to relax just a little bit you know to let the food digest and then i'm taking a nap let me go quickly and get you know the iced coffee because i am actually really hungry it's noon right now so i pretty much been working all morning and i'm now about to have my first meal of the day y'all i got my my iced coffee and then my two glazed donuts and now i'm on my way home y'all need to try shit on fried egg it's so good good morning y'all happy wednesday so today is september 7th it is currently 9 26 in the morning as y'all can see i'm all dressed so right now i'm getting ready to go to the new york office i'm actually really annoyed because prior to you know me coming to jersey i told my mom that i wanted to drive to new york and she was like oh you know there's no parking in new york so i was just drive you and yesterday we was having a conversation it comes to find out sis was talking about she's gonna drive me to penn station and then i'm gonna take the train to new york i really don't want to take this train to new york especially with the weather now like it looks like it's gonna rain but it's just really really cloudy right now so the weather is not even like the sun is not shining none of that it's actually kind of cold a little bit today so I'm just really not in the mood this morning but it is what it is and already by the time i get to new york it's probably going to be damn near 11 o'clock but it is what it is just finished you know using the bathroom washing my hands all of that good stuff it's currently 12 30 so i'm going out for lunch and of course since i came to new york i gotta get me a chopped cheese so right now i'm actually gonna walk to a deli there's a lot of delis so i just picked one it's like a seven minute walk honestly i really don't want to walk because it's really cold and it's just very the weather is just not it but I'm really excited to get a chopped cheese. That's really why I wanted to come to New York, like really so bad. There's no way I could come to New York and not get me a chopped cheese, like what? But yeah, that's what I'm about to do. And y'all, the office is actually really nice. Like it's definitely nicer than the office that I primarily work out of. But yeah, it's still, there's still some similarities. I don't know if I could see myself working in New York. Like it's just too busy for me, honestly. It's just, it's too busy see all of these options i definitely want a snack but i'm not gonna get it from here y'all why is a chopped cheese ten dollars i remember when i you know used to go to church in new york you know i would get a chopped cheese on a regular and it used to be five dollars y'all now it's ten dollars oh they bugging out here Happy Thursday, y'all. So today is September 8th. It is currently three o'clock in the afternoon. Right now I'm in the car getting ready to go and get my hair done because you know, it's cheaper to do it in New Jersey and you know, why not? I do need my hair washed. So it'll be nice to, you know, get it properly done, you feel me? But it's been a long time since they've seen me and now I'm transitioning. So like my hair is a little bit different. So I don't know, I don't know, but we'll see, we'll just see. But it's crazy because as I was, you know, leaving the apartment, right, I was literally putting on my slippers and you know, my mom, she's watching the TV and the TV's on CNN and I see Queen Elizabeth II dies at 96 and I'm shocked, like I was really standing there like, wow. I even checked, you know, social media, I went on Instagram, I went on the shave room and they posted it and I'm like, okay. So clearly she has passed away. I'm not gonna really say what I'm thinking. Maybe I'll save that for my podcast, but wow. Like I was definitely not expecting that type of news today, but wow. But anyways, I am going to go get my hair done. After that, I need to go to Short Hills because I lost my adapter that I use for my um, my laptop. And so I need to replace it because that's the adapter that I use to you know connect my microphone into my laptop and I'm able to do my podcast. And then also if I wanted to charge my Apple Watch, like the type of charger that I use for my Apple Watch, the the new apple laptops don't have those ports i'm glad that i lost something that i can replace because 
at least you know I can replace it compared to if I lose something and I'm not able to replace it so it's whatever today I worked I edited a video I'm still not done like literally this is my second day editing the video I started editing it yesterday and I'm still not done I'm still putting the finishing touches to it and I actually really like it because I feel like it's one of like my best edited videos like up to date now so i'm kind of happy about it i'm kind of happy about it but yeah i'm finally done with my hair as y'all can see i got a doobie so i paid 65 dollars which is honestly really reasonable because y'all know in seattle i've been paying outrageous prices so paying 65 dollars i have no issue with it but i do have some things to complain about so why is it that every time i get my hair done people always gotta pass comments on my hair like just do my hair bro i'm not the only african woman on this planet who has thick long hair like i just don't understand why every time i get my hair done at like practically almost every salon that i go to the people who do my hair always gotta pass comments always gotta talk smack about my hair like these people in the salon they was talking smack about my hair in spanish they thought i didn't understand them but i do understand them i took what seven eight years of spanish so i took spanish in high school then i also took spanish in college i know spanish i know a little bit you know they have conversations that's not about me that i understand they be talking about other people in the salon too like it's just really annoying i just want to get a good service be in be out and just look good like to me it's just not it nowadays like back in the day you know the service was great like people really was attentive to you all that good stuff and just now it's just like mm. I'm just gonna, you know, continue to figure out how to do my own hair, do it to my liking, you know, making sure that it's healthy, you know, still all of that good stuff. Cause you know, I have two types of textures. Like today I was actually able to see like the curls at the back of my hair. And I have a feeling the type of curls that I'm gonna have and the type of products that I should be using. So I'm excited. Like once I get back to Seattle, I'm definitely gonna be experimenting with different products to see what is really good for my hair. First time seeing the Yeezy collection in person. Like what? Today was a good shopping day. I was able to get the adapter that I wanted. I actually got one that had like multiple things. So for example, it had one where, you know, let's just say if I were to have a camera, the SD card, I could put it in there. Like there's multiple things I could do with the adapter, which is better than the adapter that I originally had. So I'm happy about that. I also got a new perfume. I'm not going to tell y'all what perfume I got because number one, it just came out so it's rare. People haven't bought it yet and I want to get people's like reaction first before I tell y'all what perfume it is because it is pretty pricey. It's more expensive than Baccarat and Baccarat is already expensive. It's like $300. So yeah, I want to see what it's like. And then I also had to end a good shopping day with the cheesecake. So now I'm walking to the car to go back home. Days later. Good morning, y'all. So today is Friday, September 9th. It is currently 6.38 in the morning. And as y'all can see, I'm in the airport. My flight is at 7.42 in the morning and boarding starts at 7.02. So I have about 30 minutes left before they start boarding. However, I want to change my seat because they put me in the middle and I don't like the middle seat or the window seat. I personally like to be I personally like to be an aisle seat so i'm gonna see if they could change my seat there's people over here and it doesn't look like the flight you know will be full so hopefully i can get an aisle seat because i really don't want this middle seat but yeah this this flight gonna be long it's about six hours by the time i get to seattle it'll be around like 11 o'clock so i'll probably get home around in the afternoon and then after that i don't know if i want to go grocery shopping or if i want to order in and then go grocery shopping tomorrow but we'll see i have a lot of stuff to do once i get back to seattle but i'm happy to be going back i mean i'm not really happy to be in seattle per se but i'm just happy to get back into my own space of course i couldn't leave without getting one last dunkin 